Welcome to this episode from MobileTechVideos.com. Now, another Captivate ROM in a flash. Okay, so today we've got Serendipity 7. Now, this is the all new Serendipity. Check out the boot screen, by the way. If you want that, go ahead and check out the link below with my boot screen package. They've modified it and thrown in a couple of cool ones like that. And you can watch the video here to follow along and learn just how to do that. But you don't have to stick with the i9000 boot screen. But anyways, back to the video. This is Serendipity 7. This is from Mikey Mike 01 and Chance M, who does, I believe, all the i9000 side of things uh, on this ROM. They work as a team, and obviously Mikey Mike dishes it out for the Captivate. And, uh, you know, they kind of work on each side of the devices there. Um, and it's a fantastic ROM. Um, out of the box, you'll see a different wallpaper. I wanted to showcase the uh, Nexus S, the slightly modified Nexus S with a different background. But uh, I chose to go with this one. I'll take a look at some of the other ones they do have in here. We've got uh, some of the ones that you may not have seen are the HTC Sense uh, background, which is always pretty cool. We get the microbes background. Uh, really nice as well. The polar clock and the water we've both seen, the galaxy we've seen, and then uh, I chose Nexus S. It was simple, but uh, uh, pretty nonetheless. Now this is all based on the JVO gingerbread build for the i9000. It also supports, uh, sports I should say, the JV6 modem. So if you want to know about a phone, we can take a look at some of the things we're working with. Now to my knowledge, I'm not 100% sure where the kernel technically came from. It may have been in-house development by them, taking another popular kernel and kind of modifying it for this build. Nonetheless, it says Serendipity 7 for the kernel build. Um, JV6, as we mentioned, for the modem. Uh, this is Serendipity 7, and the author is at the bottom, which is always a cool touch to see that as well. And obviously 2.3.3 with the correct model number and whatnot, so you have correct market. Now, there's not a whole lot of theming going on, so they've kept it pretty simple. I would expect to see some uh, decent theme packages pop up. That would be cool for you theming developers. We'd love to see that. Um, on the pull-downs, we have removed the text from the file icons at the top. So we've got more real estate for notifications and things like that. So the icons have been minimized, but very easy to see. We've got the neon green all over the place, especially up top with the icons and whatnot. Uh, in addition to all this, um, Oh, I'm stupid. The kernel is actually built on Xcals 1.2 with backlight notification and Voodoo. So I apologize about that. This is all built on Xcals kernel, but it was kind of a, a custom build as well uh, for Serendipity. I was going down my notes here, and I totally forgot about that. So uh, five lock screens included: Android, Rotary Glass, Epic, and the SGS2. Plus, the lock screen wallpaper is also changeable. Let's take a look at the SGS2 for some of you guys who may not have seen it yet. Um, it's always pretty cool to get a new lock screen, I'm sure you guys all know. But this is the new uh, SGS2 background uh, for the lock screen there. And uh, it's actually really similar to the glass, so I'm not really sure why um, it's even called the SGS2. But you get the picture here. It's uh, very similar to sweeping glass, but uh, there it is, SGS2. Mainly for the wallpaper that it has, personally. But, um, for the extended power menus, everything's still the same as you would see in a typical standard ROM. It's got Clockwork, Clockwork Mod Recovery 2.5, uh, which is a surprise to me. I'm surprised that they didn't stick with 3.0. I don't know if it was something to do with the scripts and the way they wrote the ROM. Uh, personally, I like it a lot better. That means that we can flash a modem much easier as it's kind of tough to find Clockwork Mod 3.0 plus uh, scripts that have been optimized for the way that it operates. Um, obviously, Diodex, zip aligned, rooted, and busy box out of the box. So you can easily do that boot screen mod that we talked about in the beginning. You actually don't even have to worry about installing busy box at all. It's already on there. Uh, ad blocking built in. Lots of ASOP type of look and feel to the phone with MMS lock screen notifications, uh, as well as the AOSP launcher, clock, keyboard, and general theme. The, it's got the hack camera, as we've all seen now for a while. So we do have the power button as a picture taking device, like that. Um, Texas notification bar toggles, app widget picker 1.2.2. Video call was removed. Obviously this phone doesn't support that. And uh, it was removed. Um, Stay awake is now under settings. 
The power control widget has been fixed as there were issues with that previously and it's got the auto rotating dialer which is always cool as well. I like to see as many things as possible do auto rotation which is why I hate this launcher. But anyways, uh, that's a personal preference from me. Um, a few other things to note is it's got the honeycomb notification ringer and sounds and they've removed the ascending ring which I'm sure if you're like me you probably hated that unless you sleep with your head right next to a phone that screams with a ringtone. Uh, personally I like to hear my phone and I can't stand the first two to three seconds being taken up by a very meek silent ring. Large access point uh, network list, accurate battery mod, ramp hack, SD card, and permission scripts have all been added. Uh, home button haptic feedback does work. As we remember, Mikey Mike was one of the originators of getting that working correctly with uh, a lot of the i9000 ROMs. Um, and it's got a couple other little things as well, like geotagging option in the camera so you can tag your geographical location uh, for where you took pictures and stuff like that. A few of the credits, obviously Mikey Mike and Chance M, Excalibur for all the great kernel work. Uh, Untermensch for creating every major SGS mod, DHIRU1602 for the SGS2 lock screen, and Al Gore for inventing the internet. We cannot, I couldn't show you this video without Al Gore. I can't say thanks enough for that. But this is Serendipity 7. Hopefully, you guys got to get a decent look at it. And above all, obviously, this is uh, pretty stripped down right now. Now, remember, um, Mikey Mike and Chance M do have the Serendipity Weebly website. Uh, I believe it's serendipity7.weebly.com. Uh, link in the description below to get the download. Also, check out the add-on section. You can add on a lot of different applications, and they have that unique uh, check-the-box style of package building where you check the boxes for the apps that you would like, and it builds you a custom zip file, and you can reboot to recovery and flash that. So it's always a nice touch to be seen uh, from the developers themselves. So this is Serendipity 7. I appreciate you guys for stopping by. If this is your first time joining us, I would look forward to a subscription from you. Uh, you can check us out on Facebook, uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, bookmark us at mobiletechvideos.com. Um, as for flashing this, you can flash this with my generic uh, gingerbread bootloaders video as seen here and you can learn more about flashing that. Keep in mind that uh, mobiletechvideos.com is your trusted source for everything JTAG. We can debrick the Captivate, Vibrant, i9000, Galaxy S4 G. I can go on and on and on, but we can hard debrick all of these phones uh, and do it for a fantastic price. And basically we don't have to have you settle with Samsung in months and months. I don't know about months, but you never know what's going to happen sometimes with an RMA repair if you have custom ROM files. You might get lucky, you might not. Needless to say, warranties are running out, and we'll always be here for you guys as long as we can. Too hard to break your phone. So check out the jigs as well. Still $8. Link in the description below. Thanks for stopping by, guys, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Oh, one more thing. Be sure to donate to your developers. These guys are awesome. This is a great ROM. A lot of us have been waiting on it. And your support means so much to them. So link in the description below to donate to these guys. That's the first link you need to look for, and it'll be at the very top. So thanks a lot, guys. Monkey Mike, Chance M, we appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.